Hi there, this video is going to be going over how to access the GNOMES public portal. Now a public portal allows you to review any publicly available data um, that is in the GNOMES Aquams environment. To access this environment, we're going to go to Aquams 6 dot gold systems dot com and enter in the following information for the public portal which is just noms public as a username no password and click login here you'll be able to access any of the publicly available data like i just said um, you have access to all of our different graphs maps reports and exports to be able to view this data now, currently at the time of making this video um, in July of 2020, there are two different organizations that you have available to you. NOMS Archive, which is um, historic NOMS data, um, and then just the NOMS organization. Um, if you um, are looking at this video in the future and you don't see the NOMS archive organization, um, that is because the archive data has been merged with the NOMS organization. Um, so you will still be able to review all of the previous data um, under that NOMS organization. If you still see both organizations at the time of reviewing this video and you're in the public environment, um, then these steps will apply um, for having the two different organizations. There are two different options that you'll see throughout the system um, for reviewing data. First is if there is preset criteria, like we see under the single parameter line graph, where they have generated some criteria that allows you to choose a location and it will automatically pull up the last three years worth of data um, for the parameter that it's chosen. The same thing shows on the multi-parameter line graph and in a couple other instances throughout this program. To generate a report or a graph that has a preset criteria, we're going to click that link. A map of all the NOMS locations will generate. Sometimes it takes a minute depending on the speed of your internet because there is a large number of locations. Bear with the computer. Then we're going to go ahead and zoom in and select our locations. To select our locations, we're going to select with a polygon at the top of our screen here. I'm going to choose all of Utah. If your polygon, if you're not happy with it, you can always clear your polygon and start over. So in that case, I wasn't happy with my boundaries. So I'm gonna click select with polygon again and grab those Utah locations and click accept locations. Now I have these locations present. We're going to see our other search criteria, our parameters available, and then our options tab. So these are different options. You can skip uh, right to creating a graph if you have a parameter seen. If you don't see a parameter right away, click refresh parameter list. Now if you still don't see any data, it may be that your date range is too small. Um, so we're going to go ahead and extend this out to five years, click create graph again and now we'll see some data. It's not that there isn't data that has been taken in the last three years. It may just be that it hasn't gone through the full QA process and isn't publicly available. If you're looking for a particular uh, data set that you're not seeing in the public portal, reach out to a GNOME staff member and they can guide you into where um, is the best place to look up that data or provide you with some sort of export. Here we are. Um, we're gonna go ahead and choose our depth for our Secchi disk and click create graph and a graph will populate. Here this graph has one location that is showing data in this time frame. Um, just because we have a very large time frame, we can see our graph is a little askew. So what we're gonna wanna do is to zoom in and out by using the scroll mouse on your mouse. <laughs> scrolling in and out to zoom in more on our particular location in concern. If we hover over the points, we'll see a date and a time that the sample was taken and the measurement. 
Um, if we hover over this, uh, if you have multiple locations, um, hovering over the key will highlight the location concern. Again, this is more of a issue or a feature if you have more than one location on a graph. You can change the color scheme if you wanted to, um, to something that is more appropriate for you. However, if you do change the color scheme, you will have to zoom back into your graph um, to get the angle that you want to see. Um, if you would like, you can save these as an image or as a PDF, um, and also just export this data to Excel um, to do your own analysis if you would like. Now let's talk about how we would utilize other features of the portal by generating our own graph. So I'm gonna click return and it's gonna take me back to this previous page and let's try another graph. And uh, let's just do a, let's do a default search criteria under the multi-parameter line graph. So this is what a default search criteria looks like. This, this default search criteria is the same methodology no matter where you are at in the public portal. So if you're creating a graph or creating a report or creating an export, it's going to be the exact same way. So these steps apply, um, so don't panic if you're jumping to a report and you don't see um, a second video uh, going over the exact reports, it's the exact same process. So first we're gonna select our locations. We could select it from a list um, using this list page icon here, or we can select it off the map like we just did on the previous slide, or we can copy and paste in your monitoring location IDs that you want to see. I would recommend either using the magnifying glass to review a list of locations or the map. Because we reviewed how to grab your locations off the map on the last example, I'm going to go through the list page and show you how to do it there. So first we need to select what organization we want to see. Is it the newest data or old data? I'm going to select that older data, so pre-2019. And then I'm also going to filter this down even further. I'm going to select a state that I want to see, so I don't have just a big running list. So here's my state that I want to look at. We could get even more specific and go to our county that we want to see. And then we can click search. And it looks like I picked the wrong county. Let's try something different. Let's do no county. We'll check all and click search again. So here's a list of locations in Occam's currently um, for the state of Utah. I'm gonna go ahead and just select all of them. If you have a more finite search criteria, you can select individual locations. Um, if you select all and you no longer want all, you can check this or select none, and it will uncheck all your locations. Um, but let's proceed with just all our locations here. So we're going to accept our selected locations, pull up our other search criteria. Right now we have the past three years. I'm going to pull that out to five years. You can extend it out as far as you want back, um, but Occam's is only going to generate data for the obvious points that it has. So if you don't receive anything, it may be that your date range is too narrow, um, so you might want to broaden it out like I did um, on these last two examples. Next, we're going to click this refresh parameter list just like we did before to pull up a complete list of our parameters available. I'm going to look at something like dissolved oxygen, um, and let's do it versus pH. Finally, our options tab, we currently have the option to either do the X or the Y axis as one or two uh, scales. I'm going to choose to have two Y axes. Now, this uh, feature is only available if you only have two distinct parameters on a multi-parameter chart um, or graph, so keep that in mind. If you have more than two, you will not be able to use the dual uh, Y axis. These You will only be able to use one Y axis. Uh, let's go ahead and click Create Graph, see what we get. Great, so a graph is now generated for each one of our locations um, that we have selected um, that it could find data for. So this one for Bear Lake is a really good example of what it looks like to have the dissolved oxygen versus the pH here. Um, we're seeing that there was more dissolved oxygen levels taken than pH. It's very normal to see differences in um, what was sampled for. So we can hover over a uh, 
item to zoom over it by doing a shift click drag mechanism like I just did. So hold shift, then click with your mouse, then drag to have a box form to zoom over that point. You can also zoom in and out by using the scroller on your mouse pad like we did in the previous example. Hovering over these points will highlight uh, which value it is. In this case, it's not locations, it's the actual parameter because um, we're in a different type of graph. You can still change the color scheme, save these as a PDF or an image, or export this data to Excel um, if you'd prefer to analyze it that way. Let's go back and let's see the other uh, options in the public portal. Now that we have a good search criteria that is more meaningful to us, um, we can navigate throughout the system using the latest search criteria to review our data using maps, reports, and exports. So what do I mean by that? So if we go to reports, I'm gonna choose this latest search criteria by the site visit detail report. Now I'm going to pull up, I want to see all of the dissolved oxygen and pH readings and click create report. That simple. This site visit detail report breaks down exactly at what date and at what location and what the readings were for each of the parameters that you have selected. Um, this may be more meaningful with different types of information, but at least I wanted to give you a quick example of what this would look like. Um, this report cannot change the header or the color like you can in the graphs, but you can save it as a PDF in the top of your screen here. We click return again, we're gonna take us back to the previous page and utilizing that latest search criteria, you can go back um, and use any of these reports. Like I said, um, quickly generating these reports, creating, the, creating these reports uh, that will tell you exactly um, the type of information you're looking for. Again, that may be more meaningful for you um, than the canned search criteria that is available. Exports are also available. These are exports um, in Excel of different information. It may just be um, straight exactly your results. That would be a cross tab or a standard or a standard abbreviated export. Or there is the option to do re result summaries, which give you more broad summary information about the NOMS data as a whole and not specifically based off a of location. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to the NOM staff or at aquams at goalsystems.com and we'd be happy to assist you.